Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Training C. I'm Tranny. This is C. We've got ourselves some Boulder Spirits this evening. Sure do. And um, man, this is a good lineup so far. It has been, and you know what? We've reviewed these first three bottles, so if you have any interest in checking out reviews on the bourbon, and then the sherry cask bourbon, and then the American uh, whiskey, then please do check out uh, our inventory of, of videos. And, and if we're slurring slightly, mm. it's because we're... Slurring slightly? That's like the worst yeah. thing I could have <laughs> yeah, said. Thanks for setting that up. <laughs> but um, we, yeah, we, we've, we've had a few drams. Well, we've recorded these all in one night. We're going to spread them out over time, but oh, the, yeah, the yeah. recordings yeah. all happened in one night, uh, including this one for the port cask. Yeah, this so would be this, great. What's the percentage on this? This is an American single malt whiskey Ooh. at Far uh, left. Oh, 46%. Yeah. Port cask finished, wow. which as you can tell, like, let's just, before I pop it open, look, uh, oh, excuse me. Look at the color there. You can see that like strawberry red hue from the port cask. Um, port has quite a color influence when you, For you sure. get it in there. And it's it's very cool that this is also in the style of a single malt, mm. you know, scotch, I, I would guess. Yeah. I would guess. It's like a scotch um, made in America. Kind so of. another one that comes to mind that does that is the uh, Glenmorangie Portwood. Is that what it is? Yes. Anyways, um, so in the single malt style, which is cool, but these guys have also done, you know, the, the bourbon in a sherry cask and right. different experimentation. So this should be very interesting. Right. Quiet on set. Here we go. Three, two, one. Beauty. Ooh, that's great. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah, so let's, let's get into it. Again, the color is really nice on this. Um, Boulder Spirits in general so far have been quite nice. The one we're not reviewing tonight is the peat cask because we have done that already. Yes, we have. We previously um, did it. You can check that out on our channel. Mm -hmm. And it was also named one of our whiskeys of the year. Absolutely. So check that video out too. So this is a very look at that dark color. cedary red yeah, kind of look nice. to it, right? Really, really nice. And Boulder Spirits is oh, yeah. one of our uh or it is our December Dram Club and Masterclass uh, sponsor. So. Yeah. It's, man, this pork cask, like, this it one has, has a really nice, um, just red fruit, winey characteristic to it. I was going to say that it has a, a funk, is the first thing yeah, I noticed. Yeah, totally. Like, like, and I, this isn't... It has a cheesy funk or something. Yeah, and I, I don't mean this in a bad way, but like a sulfury kind of like... Thing too, mm. which isn't that bad. Mm. Well, no, it's just like it's a uniqueness. It, it is a, a sulfury. But you're right. There is like a cheesy kind of like almost like mm. you know those uh like what are they called like premium plus like butter kind of crackers. Yeah, yeah. Like it kind of has like a bit of a salted cracker thing too or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. But... <laughs> Saying that, so that's not. These aren't the most appetizing like nosing notes that we've given but it shows like that there's whiskeys out there that are kind of doing something different like i i can guarantee you we know a few people now um in the whiskey world that are doing some savory style whiskeys right right, right, right. and it's 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 going to pick up i think yeah for sure and this is kind of like it is sweet and it has that port kind of whiny thing but the funk is there and I think this it's is kind of like a realm. good yeah. indication of where savory style whiskeys can Let's go. Let's see what it tastes. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yes. It's like, it's got a bit of a, like a sherry leather. It does. But it also has like a prickly, like in a good way, like a, a um, uh, a rival. Like it's got a little bit of a mouth kind of like. There's a. To me, there's a uh, like a real um, red wine kind of dryness on the yes. palate, like up okay. front even, like not you. on the finish. I was gonna say a wine influence actually on the flavor, mm -hmm. but and like the finish too, and the the port cask. It is, you're right. It kind of is a little bit more 
on the realm and the single malts of having a sherry influence. But I think it's like port is quite a sweet, dense, sure. rich, fermented wine. So this is kind of like the same idea. This one is like full tingle effect in my mouth. Mm. Like that's really yeah good. from beginning to end. Like the, the sometimes the finish on a whiskey has that. This is like in the beginning. So I'm gonna read the back of this bottle. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Scotsman Alistair Brogan arrived in Boulder, Colorado, with little more than a custom copper pot still and a lifelong passion for distilling. Oh man, that's amazing. <laughs> we we talked about it in one of the other videos, but that's like the you vision of like a guy like coming like, to America. You with, can't be a poor traveling person, but then with, you're with a copper pot still. With a copper your bag, pot still. Like, <laughs> like, did you arrive in like a 18 wheeler with <laughs> a little more than this 18 wheeler with a copper and a million dollars? <laughs> With yeah. a, we mean no disrespect. It's no, just kind no, of a no. funny way to say it's, it. Yeah, it is. It's it is. Funny. Like, that's it's pretty like funny. Little yeah. more. It's like yeah, but it probably costs like, like five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, like man, <laughs> I've been living here my whole life, and I have barely. You've barely acquired a copper <laughs> pot still yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> yes, yeah. No offense, Alistair. Today, his dream is being realized with the creation of his small batch American single malt whiskey. Our artisan distilling techniques include using the finest malted barley, the purest water from Arapaho Glacier Melt, I feel and like you new say that name different American time. oak barrels, the hot summer and high elevation of the Rocky Mountain foothills terroir impart flavor that makes this award-winning whiskey unique to Colorado with a Scottish accent. And I think that was exactly the same thing that was written on the American single I think malt. it might have been, yeah. And then they didn't write anything about the port cask on here. Well, you can't win them all. You know, it's their first misstep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? The flavor speaks for itself. Yeah. Really? Like, um, no. Like, I'm look not. at the color on this thing. It's pretty the beautiful. color speaks for itself. Yeah, it's, it's uh, again... A whiskey in the United States doing things differently. A lot of the United States has been bourbon styles yeah. or, you know, no, like it's super that fun. kind of thing. So this is kind of fun and like different. Honestly, it has a bit of this sherry type feel to it, but it's also got more of like the whiny notes. It's got the effervescent, effervescent tingle mm -hmm. to it. Like it's all around. This one's really pleasant. I it's, quite it, like it's it. It's like quite dry up front which mm. i'm actually liking because it's like it kind of it's a bit more in your face and at 46 percent, i mentioned this in one of the other videos but like they bottle it at the perfect percentage for what's going on in the in the whiskey in itself and then i'm also picking up like that um i want to say it's like that almond extract palette that i've gotten yeah. off of a few of these which, other which could be too, just like so. the kind of house style yeah but. So it's really tasty. Really, basically everything from the lineup has been very tasty. Mm -hmm. Like it's a solid lineup. They're doing great things. Um, Excited to see what they do next. Actually, yeah, let's help get them out there. Like, yeah, buy some uh, Boulder Spirits, man. Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Check us out at Trendy and C, and see you next time. Cheersies. Trendy and C.